Hello everyone, welcome to the Gate Engineering Online Learning Classes. In this video, we will talk about the energy signal and power signal and we will solve some problems on the energy signal, power signal as well as neither energy nor power signal. We will solve each problem on the each topic. So just first we will talk about the energy signal. A signal is said to be an energy signal if the total energy is finite. That lies between zero to infinite and the average power is zero then we can say that the signal is an energy signal. How do we compute the energy of the given function or given signal? For the continuous time signal, we can compute the energy by this formula. Just we need to take the integration of the squared value of the given function. For the discrete time phase signal, we need to take the summation because integration can be represented by the summation in the discrete time signal. So instead of the integration, we will take the summation in the discrete time signal to compute the energy of the given function. All the bounded signals are energy signal. What does it mean? It is very important point to remember all the bounded signal. First, we should understand what is bounded. Bounded means function should be defined in the finite value of the signal. Just like that. If you see the plot, this signal is bounded. Its function value is finite all the time at t tends to infinite even it is also zero if we plot the rising exponential signal it is looks like this so we can see that this is the unbounded signal this is not a bounded signal so this signal this is the rising exponential signal is rising exponential signal is a unbounded signal so this is not an energy signal but this is a decaying exponential signal is the energy signal because this is a bounded its amplitude value should be finite or for t tends to infinite it should approach to zero at t tends to infinite function should approach to zero and function value should be finite for throughout the time duration so this is the bounded signal or each bounded signals are the energy signal now we'll talk about the power signal a signal is said to be power signal if average power is finite so power should lie between zero to infinite then we can say that the signal is power signal but simultaneously energy should be infinite if power is finite energy is infinite the signal is called as the power signal the power is defined for energy transfer per unit time so power is nothing but energy per unit time energy per unit time so how do we compute the power power can be calculated by taking the integration for a time period minus t to t mod of xt square dt here this denominator is 2t because here we are taking the range from minus t to t that will be the 2t span of the signal and t tends to infinite here now we can represent the we can compute the power of a discrete time signal by representing integrator as in summation and t will be represented by n lower limit is the minus n cap, upper limit is the capital n and denominator is the 2n plus 1 because of if we draw time axis here we have some minus n values here we have some plus n values we have 0 1 this is 1 this is minus 1 so what is happening here we have n number of samples are here in negative side we have n number of samples are in the positive side one sample at zero so we have 2n plus 1 number samples that's why we are dividing by 2n plus 1 and limit will be infinite so we can compute the power by using this formula all the periodic signal will be power signal but reverse is not true but reverse is not true so all the periodic signal is power signal like the sine omega t is the power signal cos omega t is the power signal uh, east power j omega t is the power signal now we will solve some problem on the energy and power signal we will check whether this function is energy or not uh, energy or power or neither energy nor power signal so we will apply the formula that we know first we should understand what is the meaning of east power minus 2t ut ut is defined for positive time value ut is 1 for t greater than 0 and 0 for t less than 0. So this is the ut function. If we multiply e power minus 2t with ut, if we multiply e power minus 2t with ut, so we will get 
this function only right sided we will get only positive sided function we will get this function only this one this function will be zero when we multiply with zero so e schwab minus 2t is defined for t greater than zero here now we will apply the energy formula which is minus infinity to infinity mod of xt square dt here we will substitute xt which is e schwab minus 2t after solving this integration we are getting 1 by 4 joule but thing is that here limit was starting from minus infinity to infinity but our function is defined for t greater than zero that's why its lower limit will be zero here after solving this energy is 1 divided by 4 zero which is the finite energy here energy is finite now come to the calculation for the power signal which will be defined by the limit t tends to infinity 1 divided by 2t integration from minus t to capital t mod of x t square dt here we will substitute x t which is e to minus 2 t and defined for t greater than 0. So here lower limit is replaced by 0 and x t substituted e to minus 2 t. So we are getting e is to the power minus 4 t dt. If we take the integration of this function we will get limit t tends to infinity 1 divided by 2 t into 1 divided by 4. So it will become 1 divided by 8 t and substitute t tends to infinite we will get 0 watt. So in this case, now we now we will visualize is this signal is energy or power. Now we will have to check is this energy or power. We have computed energy and power both. We have computed energy and power both, but we have to check this is energy or power signal. So according to definition of the energy signal, energy should be finite and power should be zero. So here we will check energy is finite, which is lie between zero to infinite, and power is zero. So this property is satisfying for the definition of the energy energy signal so this signal is the energy signal here now we we'll check another problem is this energy or power or neither energy or nor power signal we have a signal a is to power j omega t so we will check it is energy signal or power signal or neither energy nor power signal so first we will compute the energy signal here xt is mod of xt so we'll take the magnitude of the a is to power j omega t okay so magnitude will be always a here so we are getting a so a is to power j omega t square will become a square so if we calculate the energy of this signal so we are getting the infinite energy infinite energy now we'll check what is the power signal if px it defined by this here we substitute xt mod of xt will be a so we are getting a square dt after solving this you will get a square after solving we are getting a square so here a is the finite so a square will also again finite energy is infinite energy is infinite power is finite now we will go through the definition of the energy and power signal first we will check what is the definition of energy signal energy signal is defined for finite energy and zero power but here it is not satisfying because energy is infinite and power is finite now we'll check definition for power signal in the case of the power signal power should be finite and energy should be infinite so that is satisfying here so this signal is nothing but the power signal now come to the third problem we'll check here e is to the power 2t ut again this signal is defined for t greater than zero okay this signal is defined for t greater than 0 and this signal will plot looks like this e to power 2t at t equal to 0 it will become 1 at t equal to infinite it will go to the infinite this is the function will plot if we compute the energy of the signal we will substitute the limit from 0 to infinite xt e to power 2t so it will become e to power 4t dt after solving it we are getting infinite energy now we will compute the power of the given function. Power will compute it by substituting the value of mod of x square. We have e to the power 40 here. After solving it, we are getting e to the power 40 minus 1 divided by 8t. If we substitute t tends to infinite, if we substitute t tends to infinite in this function, we will get infinity divided by infinity. That is not defined. So what we will do here? We will apply the L hospital rule. We'll apply the L hospital rule after solving using the L hospital rule. We are getting 4 e to the power 40 divided by 8. 
Now we'll substitute t as to infinite, so we'll get infinite here. So in this problem, what we are getting? Infinite energy and infinite power. So that means this signal is not satisfying energy property of the energy signal, and it is not satisfying to the property of the power signal. So this signal is called as the neither energy nor power signal. Thank you for watching this video.